Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech, travel and inspiration. If you're new around here, I would be really happy to see you as a subscriber to the channel. I will be putting up a lot of content over the upcoming weeks because I'm out traveling on an interrail trip for six weeks all around Europe. Right now I am in Prague. I went here after a wonderful weekend in Berlin and I'm on my way to pack up and then head to Vienna and then head to Budapest for a really big dance camp that I'm always attending in Budapest. In this video I wanted to go through my USB-C charging setup that I'm using while I'm on the road. If you watch my videos about computers you might have noticed that I always mention USB-C charging as quite a big feature. The main reason why I'm doing that is because of this kind of travel setup that I'm going to show you right now. I'm using the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 now when I'm out traveling. It's working really well, it's the perfect format and the perfect power, although the keyboard problems are really annoying when I'm out traveling. So I always have to have my Logitech external keyboard with me as well, because otherwise I can't type and that kind of kills the purpose of having just a laptop. But there's not too much to do about it right now. I just have to accept it and then have the keyboard and the motherboard fixed right when I get back home in the middle of November. My USB-C charging setup is the following on this trip. The main charger I'm using is this LV Sun that I've shown you before. It's a no-name, I would say, Chinese brand uh, charger. Uh, I got it off a cheap Swedish website where you can get all kinds of computer and phone accessories and the reason why I really like this is that it's lightweight but it's 90 watt so it's got a decent amount of power it's got quite a long cord and there is the USB-C end then it's got this cord with this connector in the other end and that connector is quite crucial to this whole setup because I don't want to bring too many cables in general because I only travel with one bag. This Cabin Zero Military 48 liters is the only bag I have with me and bringing too many chargers and too many cables will just be too annoying and take up too much space in that bag. So I really wanted to minimize as much as possible how many pieces of charging equipment I could bring. The second main part of my USB-C charging setup is a power bank that both charges off of USB-C and can charge via USB-C. The power bank I'm using on this trip is this Iglo 97 watt hour and 60 watt power delivery power bank. It's really darn good and it's not too big and bulky either. So it's quite easy to put it in like an exterior pocket on the bag and always have it accessible. I always charge the power bank with the LV Sun charger for the simple reason that charging this with anything else than a quick 90 or even stronger watt charger is gonna take forever. So when I use this one to charge this one, it will take only like a few hours and then it's gonna be completely full. Otherwise, if you would like use a phone charger with this guy, it will take you like two days to fully charge the power bank. So you basically just waste the whole weight and space this consumes because it's never going to be full. Most of the time when I'm using the power bank to charge stuff, I use this pretty simple USB-A to USB-C cable. That one I use because it's not taking up a lot of space and it's not like a long cable that can get tangled and be really annoying. Uh, I use this when I charge my phone and when I charge my DJI Osmo Pocket. Although if I want to charge my computer while I'm on a train and there's no power plug, I can't use this because it can't put out enough wattage, enough power. So then I need to have this little tiny USB-C to USB-C cable. So this one goes in to the power bank's USB-C connector. The other end goes into the Dell Inspiron 15 7000. And that will charge it when I'm closing the lid. If I'm running the computer, it will not charge it as I have described before in my USB-C charging video. 
This Eaglo Sun has two USB-A ports and one USB-C port. So I always bring another USB-A cable and that cable is a USB-A to micro USB. And the micro USB I need, for example, when I charge uh, my headphones, uh, when I charge my Bluetooth mouse, when I charge my e-reader and therefore this one really necessary. This is a little bit of a luxury version of a USB cable uh, and it doesn't get tangled and I really enjoy it. But if I'm in a situation where I want to charge three devices that charge via USB-C, I also have this little adapter that plugs onto the micro USB and makes it USB-C. This is one that came with the Samsung phone and I'm using it all the time with this cable. On top of those main parts of the USB-C charge setup, I also have another power bank. This is the little smaller power bank from SBS. I originally got it to be able to charge my Nintendo Switch while I'm on the road. After I stopped gaming, I'm never bringing the Nintendo Switch anymore. But this one I basically only bring because it's small enough to put in your pocket. So if you don't want to have a bag at all, bringing this one to be able to top up your phone when you are about to run out of battery is really handy. It only has one regular USB port and one USB-C port, but usually I just bring the one USB to micro USB and then the adapter so that I could charge whatever would run out of battery when I'm out running on town without my bag. There's one thing in my bag that is not able to charge via USB-C and that is my DJI Mavic Air. And honestly, I thought I would make more use of this because, you know, you see all those YouTubers traveling with drones and shooting drone footage everywhere. But I'm actually a bit uncomfortable to fire up a big drone. I mean, not essentially that big, but still, like, firing this one up and just flying above people, above buildings. Mm, I haven't been that comfortable using it. But just since I have used it, I just need to fire up this footage that I shot on Tempelhof in Berlin because that was a really nice place to fly the drone. However, that's not the point. The point is that the DJI Mavic Air won't charge with USB-C. The DJI Spark, the lower end model, will charge with USB-C, but this one you have to have a separate charger. So this is the separate charger that I have brought to be able to charge the batteries of the DJI Mavic Air. And as you can see, this has the same power plug as my computer charger. So I would just grab the computer charger, plug it into this one, and then I can charge my DJI Mavic Air batteries. My Sony Alpha A6400 that I'm filming this on right now will charge via USB. But since you can only charge one battery, and that is the battery that you have put into the camera, I actually ended up bringing my external charger for this camera as well. It also has the same power plug, so I'll just take the same power cable from the computer charger, plug it into the camera charger, and then I'd be able to charge two camera batteries at the same time. Which is a really good thing when you're doing long shooting sessions, or when you're out on town shooting a lot of pictures. Those are all the parts in my complete USB-C and micro USB charging setup. I wish that I had a few more things that would actually charge via USB-C, but I don't want to have to upgrade all of this stuff just because I want them to run via USB-C. So I can't be bothered, I'm just gonna keep on bringing that micro USB cable, and I love the gear that I've been traveling with. I think this setup that I'm using, I'm, I'm just gonna keep using it. I don't see much potential to upgrade stuff here. It doesn't weigh too much, it's not too bulky, and it goes perfectly well with the other stuff that I have in my bag. I'm W2Best, I make videos about tech, travel and inspiration. If you want more of my content, please subscribe to the channel and then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!